good morning good afternoon good evening wonderful people of us of freedom all over the world wherever you're joining us from today you're highly welcome to this wonderful youtube platform this is let's talk tv your one and only updated news and information channel that gives you only back-to-back -back news as it is hot now the video you're about to watch is um the state of the union address that the prime minister simon Ekwa, you know made today the reality is that this particular video is one of the strongest you know address that um, the prime minister has given in a very long while he went further to speak about a lot of things he spoke about um the onion Mazanam the Kano's court hearing you know and um, the injustices of the Nigerian um, government to give, you know, an innocent man freedom. We know what happened and um, how Onyendo Mazanam de Kanu is being um, denied freedom. But the reality is that, you know, the Prime Minister Simon Ekpa has promised them Bia France all over the world that the victory will definitely come for Onyendo Mazenam de Kano in a historic way, in a historic way, come what may, no matter how bad it is, that he will make sure that the free the freedom will definitely come for him. That is one. And he went further towards the ending of um the broadcast. That is why you should watch the broadcast from the beginning to the end. He went for that to make a critical point concerning them um, this um, issue of the killing happening them um, in delta where a lot of um, innocent people were massacred by the terrorist nigerian government it is only in nigeria that them um, we see military going to you know fight unarmed civilians it is only in Nigeria that we are seeing this kind of thing. And it is baffling how everybody is keeping quiet about it. So enjoy this video and please make sure you share this video to as many groups, to as many platforms as possible. Now, you must understand that we, Bia France, we are the ones responsible in making sure we disseminate information, important information to our people. So the more we keep sharing these videos, the more our people get to know what is happening in Biafran territory. The Nigerian government are doing everything possible to make sure they bring down our people, they bring down the voice of our leader, the Prime Minister Simon Epa, so that them um, people will not hear about the truth and the wisdom that he has to impart in in people because he is a man filled with wisdom. Wisdom that he was given, that he was gotten, that he got rather from uh, Onyendo Mazenam de Kano. That is the same wisdom that he is impacting in Bia France. And that is the same wisdom that you are about to watch in this particular video. So make sure you share this video to us to as many groups, to as many platforms as possible. Then um, continue to do the needful for the Biafran struggle. Enjoy this wonderful video from the Prime Minister Simon Ekpa in the State of the Union Address. Good evening, fellow Biafrans. Good evening, friends well-wishers of Biafra people all over the world. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the press who are seated in your different location to listen to the United States of Biafra State of the Union address today as we'll address Biafra people on current affairs, the progress, challenges, if any, we've had since the last 
State of the Union address. Fellow Biafran citizens all over the world, both in the homeland and in exile, I bring to you today a liberation message. This day we've seen again that the terrorist state, Nigeria, the lawless state, the failed and collapsed entity called Nigeria has failed and continue to fail in the judiciary. The judiciary of Nigeria is not the hope of a common man. That has been proven today from the court where Mazenam Bikano was denied bail. This is not what we have come to do today, but it is very important that we remind our people, like we have said before, Mazenam Bikano will be released in a historic manner. The key to his freedom lies in our palm. My fellow Biafran, how far we have gone as a government will surprise many of you, especially those who never believe that Biafra will emerge as a nation. In 1960s, Biafra incurred the enmity of the major world powers, the former colonial power, Great Britain, and even the era of the Organization of Africa Unity. Biafra did meet the test of the statehood under the criteria of the 1933 Montevideo Convention on the right and duties of state. These criteria are not limited to population, government, the ability to enter into foreign relations and control of territory. Biafra case were different. However, almost all international laws and their sources try to categorize Biafra as a footnote and a failed attempt at secession or even branded them as rebellion rather than a recognized state that once existed and brutally conquered. Today, the power that be depriving Biafra people the freedom they merited has succeeded in planting hatred, greed among Biafrans, especially those that represent Nigeria within Biafra territory. Many of those believe that Biafra is dead. But today, we have proven them wrong. That out of greed, wickedness, 
jealousy, and selfishness, they succumb to the narrative of the power that corrupted Nigeria. And today they sing with one voice that Biafra is dead. We have disappointed them. The fact remains that Biafra was the first African post-colonial state in that it was not based on some former administrative unit of imperialism. Fellow Biafrans, in March, stroke April 2023, Biafra restored its exile government, which was ratified by the adoption of the Health Declaration of 2023 and Biafra Charter. The restoration of the Biafra Republic government in exile and the Helsinki Declaration has reaffirmed the independence of Biafra. When the Biafra Nigeria Genocide War ended in 1970, many of those who fought the war fled into exile. In 1999, the Biafra agitation resurfaced again. In 2007, a new exile government was formed. It was collapsed, remained dormant. In 2003, 2023, we restored the Biafra exile government. I want you to understand today that whatever the government has done is in accordance with international law. The definitive goal and the purpose of the Biafra Republic government in exile have been made public both in the media and in the print media and also have been communicated to many countries of the world. Our goals and our purpose is to secure the freedom and liberty of the Biafra people. Our goal and objectives to represent the sovereignty and the interests of the Biafra throughout the world. The objective and purpose of the Biafra Republic government in exile is to engage in international relationship and diplomacy with the government, state, nations, and organizations. The objectives and the purpose and goals of the Biafra Republic government in exile is to organize for the security of the people of Biafra, their properties and land, and the people that inhabit every territorial part of Biafra, of Biafra land. Our goals remain to obtain diplomatic recognitions for the sovereign state of Biafra. The Biafra Republic government in exile goals, objective, and purpose is to organize the negotiation of trade and other economic activities on behalf of the people of Biafra. My fellow citizens all over the world, in order to achieve these goals, objective, and purpose, we have created the 40 state of the United States of Biafra in the homeland. We have activated the de facto government of Biafra in the homeland. We have established the Bank of Biafra. We have established the Biafra digital currency, among other departments 
and other governmental institutions in accordance with the international law, especially in 1933 of Montevideo Convention. It is also not unusual for there to be a period of years between exile and declaration of an exile government. We have had similar cases like that of the de facto Republic of Serbia. They went into exile in 1997. And the government was declared in 2005. And the case of the Turkestan Republic, the gap is far longer with the exile government in 1949 and the declaration only in 2004. My fellow citizens, domiciled all over the world, fellow Biafrans and friends, well wishers today, a legitimate government is the one that flows from a recognized state as opposed to so many so-called government in exile. That is in reality a liberation movement. The good news today is that the Biafra Republic government in exile status has gone beyond a liberation movement under international law as a result of the recognition from five different countries in Africa, which has never been withdrawn by those countries that recognized Biafra. This particular recognition made the status of the Biafra Republic government in exile, not just a liberation movement, but a legitimate and a recognized government with a, st a special status under international law. My fellow Biafrans, many experts on international law have opined that for an authority in exile to qualify as a government in international law, there are criterions which the government must meet and fulfill. We believe the Biafra Republic government in exile has met all those requirements. And I would like to take us a little bit on history. It is very imperative. Let's look at the precedence of history of government in exile. My fellow citizens, there are indeed presidents for government that achieve sovereignty during times of strife, obtained limited international recognition, went into exile, and were succeeded by declared exile government, and then eventually become independent and member state of the United Nations. I will take you to a journey of Slovakia. Slovakia was an independent state from 1939 to 1945. Slovakia was recognized by 29 different countries during that time. Following Slovakia's reintegration with Czechoslovakia in 1945, the former interior minister of Slovakia, Dukanski set up a government in exile in 1945, in 1947, which went through several transformations, just like the Biafra people today. As an exile government, the Liberation Committee 
was part of the Slovakia exile government, the Liberation Council, and finally, the Slovak Congress, all advocating for independence, just like you have in the Biafra today. The same people, ironically, who went through this process today will tell you how Biafrans are not united because we have different groups fighting for the same goal, which is the freedom of Biafra. In 1992, independence was achieved by the legislation when Czechoslovakia ceased to exist. Slovakia, in 1938, to 1945 was viewed by the allied nation as a German puppet state. The various Slovakian exile government and committee were not recognized by any single country. Though, doubtably, Many doubted whether they are going to have their independence, but they achieved some sponsorship from the United States. That was during the Cold War. My fellow Biafrans, it is very imperative that you know the history of this world. How many people that you look up to today, many nations that you look up to today, they were there in the past. I will then take you to a history, the journey to Ukraine. Ukraine is again going through the second phase, the most brutal phase in the history of mankind. Ukraine was an independent state from 1917 to 1922 and was recognized by at least 18 countries, including the Holy See, Russia, Germany, Turkey, and Austria. The head of the government, Simon Petluria, went on exile, declared an exile government, and was assassinated in 1926 in Paris by a Soviet agent when there were Soviet Union. In, 19, in 1941, an independent state of Ukraine was briefly, briefly declared and then suppressed by Germany. Germany, not Russia. The unrecognized government in exile persisted until Ukraine again became an independent state in 1991. From 1941 to 1991, Ukraine again became an independent state. The Ukrainian government, under the former president, Chochenko, over the protest of pro-Russian elements, recognized exile leaders and the 1917 and 41 government as predecessors and precursors to the current state. The trend of Ukraine nationalism has further intensified under the present regime. Today, Ukraine is at war of independence again. I want you to understand the history in this world. Every nation have undergone a very, very terrible situation. From 1941 to 1991. My fellow Biafrans, if you do not understand history, you will not be a good revolutionist. You can never understand how you are going to fight for the liberation of your people. This is what the Biafra government is doing because 
we know the history. Not only that we know the history, we know our right. I want to take you to a journey to another nation called Croatia. Croatia achieved independence from 1941 to 1945. I want you to understand that the countries I am mentioning today did not actually have their independence completely from the beginning. Rather, they went through the same process with Biafra. Biafra had independence from 1967 to 1970. Croatia had independence from 1941 to 1945. During the excesses of the Second World War, when secessionist exile assumed leadership of the country upon fall of Yugoslavia to the axis of power. Like Slovakia, many countries considered Croatia as a puppet state, yet it was recognized by not only the Axis state, but also by neutral Spain. Following the end of the war, an exile government was declared in 1951 by the former leader of Croatia, Ante Pavelic, and his surviving government ministers. In 1956, the exile government became a liberation movement and was instrumental in the eventual independence of Croatia from Yugoslavia in 1991. I want you to look and check the time frame when this country succeed after everything they have done. My fellow Biafran, Biafra is not going to be exceptional. We are not going to be an exception. Our right will not be exempted. Our freedom will not be exempted. We will get our freedom just like Croatia, Slovakia, Ukraine, and many more. Today, the message I brought to Biafra people is a liberation message. We have breaking the camels back. The jinx holding Biafra for decades is broken. My fellow citizens of Biafra, taking refuge in exile, and those of you that are privileged to be in the homeland, the faculty of government today. Going through the process and the achievement of the Biafra government today, I wish to officially announce the unveiling of the Biafra Bank, officially Bank of Biafra. And also announcing the launching of the Biafra coin, the digital currency, a Gemma, the USBT. We made a promise to Biafra people that the Biafra coin called USBT will be equal to one dollar. The process of this is not something that is very difficult to understand. Many of you back home already know what is cryptocurrency. You only need a Metamax to be able to benefit from the Biafra Bank and Biafra Coin. My fellow Biafran, the website of the Biafra Bank, the Bank of Biafra, will be made public immediately after the addressing, after this uh, State of the Union address. As we are getting ready to declare Biafra this year, I want everybody to pay attention. We said Biafra will be declared this year. The declaration 
is the restor to be restoration of independent state of Biafra. We have declared Biafra in exile, restoring the Biafra government in exile. The next phase is to go forward to restore the Biafra government and independent state of Biafra after the result of the on from the ongoing self referendum. I would like to remind every one of you that you have enough to benefit from the Biafra Bank, from the Bank of Biafra, especially using the digital currency, Biafra coin. That is what they call stake, staking. The staking, the Biafra, the Bank of Biafra offers 18% interest in staking. While many platform offers you, for example, five as low as five percent. The Bank of Biafra is offering Biafra people 18 percent. And what it means is that as Naira has collapsed and crashed, the government of Biafra has provided an alternative to Biafra people. So you do not leave your money in Naira. As you buy Biafra coin, your money becomes stable. Any day you want to withdraw your money, you get your money withdrawn through the crypto system. For those of you who already are very conversant with cryptocurrency, you already know what to do by downloading a Metamax. From Metamax, you will have access to Biafra Bank. We have broken the jinx. The camel's back is broken. And fellow Biafras, to cap with the progress we've made so far, Biafra Republic Government in Exile Cabinet met yesterday and voted for the establishment of the Ministry of Aviation of the United States of Biafra. I hereby wish to officially announce to the Biafra people the establishment of the Biafra Ministry of Aviation. 